What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,155 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's five pieces to five. The link's in the search box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate through my PayPal. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you choose to do so. Um, love you guys. Just saying. Okay, so I was going to do a orc card reading, but then I got the channel message in, so it was confirmation for me to do this reading. So we're doing it. And it's a pretty um, strong message, so um, I'm not going to hold on it. I'm gonna go to going to go ahead and deliver it. So... Um, for at least one of you guys out there, if you think anyone else um, would like my channel or benefit from the messages, please feel free to share my videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, someone has a mole in their current banking institution. For some, it is a credit union. For some, it is a banking institution. Um, it is someone from your past is what I heard. Um, and they work at this credit union or banking institution, whoever this is and how this applies to your life. But I heard they um, they have been watching your accounts like a hawk. Um, for some of you, you have already um, got a wake up call about your uh, about funny money business. I heard funny money business um, and you have um, secretly um, been putting your money into a different banking institution is what I heard and I heard it was the right thing to do so you plug it in how it resonates um however it resonates but there's a little more to it I just I, it's sad it's sad that these kind of things have to go on I've been through it I've been through it so I understand but it's sad that these things have to go on um you know that you have to watch I mean that you have to watch your account so hard your money so hard um but it, it, that is the reality of life. That's the reality, unfortunately. I mean, that is the reality. There are thieves, there are frauds, there are con people out there all over the place. So whoever this is for, though, you are highly intuitive and you, I, you have been watching your accounts like, ball, like a hawk. You have been. Um, and for at least one of you guys, I heard you've already started putting your money into another banking institution, whether it's credit union or banking or whatever. Um, and I heard it was the right thing to do. So some of you guys have already taken um, action and so far of an act, I mean, so big of an action that you have opened up an account at a different banking institution because of this crap. And it's sad that you have to do so, but I mean, these kind of things happen. Unfortunately, these kind of things happen, but it's not the actual banking institution or the credit union. It's the, it's a someone from your past, a mole energy that is, um, that's basically been stealing from you. It's basically been stealing from you. It's really sad. It's sad. But some of you guys have already gotten wake-up calls. And like I said, you've already taken the great action to open up another account at a different banking institution. I don't blame you. For some, you might starve. If you, uh, maybe this is a wake-up call for some of you guys if you're not watching your accounts very closely. Um, some, I feel for some, if you're not watching your bank accounts very closely, you might want to start. And I'm just being serious about that. Of course, you only take the messages to resonate and leave the rest, okay? But somebody out there, someone from your past has been stealing from you, and they work at this banking institution or this credit union. And I'm just being for real, for real. Or they're working with somebody. They work, somebody from your past works at this banking institution or credit union. They're either stealing from you or they're collaborating with one other person or many other people to steal from you. How that resonates. It's sad. But I'm going to deliver the rest of it. So I heard um, through many series of chain of events, one, at least in one of these situations, um, um, that one of the people is about to get terminated soon. Uh, someone in their um, company, I guess it's either the credit union or the banking institution, is about to start um, heavily um, 
heavily monitoring their uh, computer activity, and they're about to figure out that they've been searching your accounts very heavy. Um, so, however that resonates, but I'm presuming with them tracking their credit, I mean, tra tracking their uh, computer activity, this mole, mole, secret mole person of you, uh, whoever you are, I didn't hear a sign on who you are, so you, I feel you could be any sign. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, but um, the person that works in this banking institution or credit union that's been, I heard they've been heavily searching your accounts. It sounds like when they're at work at the current credit union or current banking institution. I feel for some, you still have the account open. It's just that you're putting your other money. You've either transferred a bunch of money into the other banking institution or credit union, or you're putting new paychecks or new direct deposits or new income streams, however that resonates, into the new banking institution. And maybe you've left this account open. That's what I'm feeling for some. Um, because, I mean, they're this person is just watching your account like a freaking hawk. But whoever it is, I heard they... Um, I heard they're getting alarmed. They're getting alarmed. But I think they know from your activity in your banking account that they're probably not seeing the paychecks go in or the direct deposits go in or the income streams like it used to come in, come in. And they know something's going on. They know that you've got a wake-up call that something's been going on. So I think it's alarming them. Um, your mole, secret mole person, whoever it is. But somebody's on to them. Somebody's on to them in their banking institution or credit union. And I heard their, it sounds like their current, current energy is tracking their computer activity. Whoever it is, your secret mole person, I don't think they have any business tracking, um, looking into your account is what I'm trying to say. I don't think they have any business looking into your account. It's just they know who you are and they know what they've been doing in the past. And they know you bank there. They, because they know, because they've been stealing from your ass or helping somebody steal from your ass. But it sounds like their ass is about to get caught. It sounds like karma is about to catch up with them and their ass is about to get caught. So it is what it is. You plug it in how it resonates. But they shouldn't have done what they did. In all seriousness, they shouldn't have done what they did. I mean, and that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. One of these secret mole people has recently bought a new vehicle within the last year. They are coming behind on their payments because, because of money laundering that has come to a complete stop. Oh, my Lord. I heard, uh, so, it sounds like several of these situations. So, you have to plug yourself in where you resonate if you do. But in one of these situations, it sounds like the secret mole person that works at this banking institution or credit union that it sounds like you've already pulled away from completely or you partially pulled away from or you're about to completely or partially pull away from how that resonates. Um, I heard they, um, they recently bought a new vehicle within the last year, I heard. And it sounds like a new, new, new vehicle, not a, like not like a new to them used vehicle. It sounds like a new, new, new vehicle. But I heard they're getting behind on car payments, vehicle payments, um, whether, I mean, whatever kind of vehicle it is, um, because they, um, some kind of money laundering situation is not going on any, anymore. So I think they were using you as a pawn to money launder from you. That's exactly what I think. I think somehow you were involved in this money laundering. I don't think you were free willingly in, in this money laundering, but I think they were using you as a pawn and bait for this money laundering shit, but it, I heard it's come to a complete stop. It's come to a complete stop. Now it's affecting your mole person um, because they, they're getting behind on the car payments because it sounds like they were using your money um, or you in some kind of bait or setup scheme or something to funnel money to pay for their car, car, uh, car vehicle payment, what have you. Wow, man. This, y'all... Spirit messages you have to like this. False person reverse. 
totally reversed. And someone's about to cancel their vacation plans soon. They will be forced to because they do not have the money. And someone's about to cancel their, their vacation plan soon um, because they do not have the money. So it sounds like they were they were siphoning money off your ass, whoever you are. It sounds like they were siphoning money off you. Or, yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Somehow they were siphoning money off you. Now, whether they created a, an illegal business and siphoned it off you through some kind of hidden camera energy, and I, I didn't hear that was the case. But to me, that could go that way. Or they were just siphoning money out of your account and you wasn't paying attention to your accounts. Um, and they were siphoning 100 bucks here, 20 bucks here, 400 bucks here, however that resonates. Somehow they were siphoning money off of you in some shape, form, or fashion, or using you bait as bait and set up for some kind of money laundering. Because money laundering is in here too. Uh, but how that resonates, one person's behind on vehicle payments, and it sounds like another person's about to cancel vacation because they can't pay for it because they were using you. Um, and they can't do it no more. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have false person reversed and totally reversed. Number eight and 38 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly eight and 38. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible, um, yeah, eight or 38. False person reversed. A lot of truth is about to come out all over the universe about these people. Mole people in the banking institution and the credit unions. People are getting huge wake-up calls in their places. Some of these people are about to be very publicly embarrassed when they are called into the office and exposed and questioned about why they're Constantly looking at your accounts. They will be let go. Oh my lord. Whoa. So if you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is strong. So it sounds like at least two people in the universe in some kind of banking institution or credit union about to be let go because of this. But in all fairness, they shouldn't have been looking at your your personal account information anyways. They work in a part of a, the bank or the credit union where you are not they have no business looking at your personal information, your account information. I don't feel they're a teller that you go up and see. I feel they know, they obviously knew you banked at this banking institution or credit union, and they work in a different department or a different place, maybe even a different facility. But they are using the computer system to look you up and you look your accounts up. But somebody is getting a wake-up call or they already have got a wake-up call. And it sounds like a high-up person. Some of these people I think is their boss or their manager or their supervisor or CEO or something. It's a high level person up getting a huge wake up call about this. So much so they're doing an investigation on them um, or about to do an investigation on them. And I heard they're basically some of them were about to be called into the office. I heard called into the office and questioned about why they're looking into your account so heavy. So they've been tracking. They have been tracking or they're about to be tracking their computer activity at work and it's regarding you and your banking um information and your banking activity which they have no business to be looking at it it's kind of like um it's kind of like working in a hospital and you work in a certain unit or department or etc cetera, etc cetera, but you pull up a patient that you don't even take care of or you don't even have any business looking at kind of like that i mean they have no business looking at your information I mean, that's breach of privacy right there. Um, but I heard some of them, that they're about to be called into office, publicly embarrassed, called out by this boss, manager, supervisor, or CEO, and then I heard they're going to be let go. They're going to be terminated. But it sounds like this is not a wrongful termination. This is breach of privacy, breach of customer privacy right here. And I'm just serious. It's breach of customer privacy. Um, and they know it. The thing is, is whoever this person is or people are, mole or moles in your life, they know what the hell they've been doing. It sounds like they've been getting away with it for some of them probably a long time. But 
it's about the karma, negative karma is about to cycle around for them. And um, our truth is about to come out all over the universe about this. So I think the termination of them is about to come to the come to a head soon. And then when they get terminated, they're going to have to explain to people in their community why they got terminated. I mean, how the hell are they going to explain that? Well, I was stealing from blah, 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 blah. I mean, yikes. Just saying, just saying. Mm -mm -mm. So truth, um, false person reverse is the truth coming out. Is what I'm feeling here. It's the truth coming out here. Wow. Totally reversed. One of these people that helped money launder in the past is about to is about to speak truth on one of these people too. And this one in a banking institution, one in a credit union. It's about to help precip precip precipitate termination more quickly. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard um, one of these people, um, it sounds like for some of you guys, it was two plus people working against you in this banking institution or credit union. I'm just being serious. But however it resonates, I heard basically one of the people, it sounds like they backed out of it or they're about to back out of it because I think they know the other person, somebody's on to the other person real heavy is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they're about to basically spill the beans on this other person or people. They're about to spill the beans on them. Um, it sounds like to cover their butt. And um, I heard it's going to speed up the process of their termination. So total labor reverse. I think this is them about to be unemployed. Them about to be unemployed because um, person or people about to be unemployed because they should have never been looking into your accounts. They should have never been using you as a, a money siphon, basically. Or trying to put you in some kind of money laundering. Um, however that resonates. Because we have a little bit of money laundering in here too. However that resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It's pretty sad. When these people get terminated, the other banking institutions and credit unions will not want to hire them. Some of them will have to switch career fields. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard when some of these people get terminated, um, the other banking institutions and credit unions will not want to hire them. They will. Ha uh, some of them will have to switch um, career fields. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is um, this is something. But they shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have done it, to be honest. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. And namaste.